let's listen to the lesson 5 industries page number 48 have you ever given a thought to the fact that the notebook you use for writing has come to you after a long process of manufacturing. It started its life as a part of a tree. It was cut down and transported to the pulp mill. There, the wood of the tree was processed and converted into wood pulp. The wood pulp was mixed with chemicals and finally changed into paper by machines. This paper found its way to the press where ink made from chemicals was used to print the lines on the pages. The pages were then bound in the form of a notebook, packed and sent to the market for sale. Finally, it reached your hands. On the top left side, there is a colored box in which there is an image of a tree and a paper diary. Image of tree is entitled as Journey Begins and the diary image entitled as Paper Made Recycle. Secondary activities or manufacturing change the raw materials into products for more value to people. As you know, the wood pulp was changed into paper and paper into a notebook. These represent the two stages of the manufacturing process. The paper made from pulp and cloth made from cotton have had value added to them at each stage of the manufacturing process. In this way, the finished product has more value and utility than the raw material that is made from. Industry refers to an economic activity that is concerned with production of goods, extraction of minerals or the provision of services. Thus, we have iron and steel industry, production of goods, coal mining industry, extraction of coal and tourism industry, service provider. At the bottom left side, there is a green box, which reads, Activity. Trace the journey of your shirt from a cotton field to your wardrobe. Page number 49 Classification of Industries Industries can be classified on the basis of raw materials, size and Ownership Raw Materials Industries may be agro-based, mineral-based, marine-based and forest-based depending on the type of raw materials they use. Agro-based industries use plant and animal-based products as their raw materials. Food processing, vegetable oil, cotton textile, dairy products and Leather industries are examples of agro-based industries. Mineral-based industries are primary industries that use mineral ores as their raw materials. The products of these industries feed other industries. Iron made from iron ore is the product of mineral-based industry. This is used as raw material for the manufacture of a number of other products such as heavy machinery, building materials and railway coaches. Marine-based industries use products from the sea and oceans as raw materials. Industries processing seafood or manufacturing fish oil are some examples. Forest-based industries Utilize forest produce as raw materials. The industries associated with forests are pulp and paper, pharmaceuticals, furniture and buildings. Size It refers to the amount of capital invested 
number of people employed and the volume of production based on size industries can be classified into small scale and large scale industries cottage or household industries are a type of small scale industry where the products are manufactured by hand by the artisans basket weaving pottery and other handicrafts are examples of cottage industry small scale industries use lesser amount of capital and technology as compared to large scale industries that produce large volumes of products investment of capital is higher and the technology used is superior in large scale industries silk weaving and food processing industries are small scale industries which is shown in figure 5.1 production of automobiles and heavy machinery are large scale industries on the right side there is an image of stages in food processing of gorgon nut makhana which numbered as figure 5.1 ownership industries can be classified into private sector state owned or public sector joint sector and cooperative sector private sector industries are owned and operated by individuals or a group of individuals the public sector industries are owned and operated by the government such as Hindustan Aeronautics Limited and Steel Authority of India Limited joint sector industries are owned and operated by the state and individuals or a group of individuals Maruti Udyog Limited is an example of joint sector industry cooperative sector industries are owned and operated by the producers or suppliers of raw materials workers or both anand milk union limited and sudha dairy are a success stories of a cooperative venture on right side there is a green box which reads activity give some examples of agro based industries page number 50 On top left side there is an image of Sudha Dairy in cooperative sector which is numbered as figure 5.2 factors affecting location of industries the factors affecting the location of industries are the availability of raw material land water labor power capital transport and market industries are situated where some or all of these factors are easily available sometimes the government provides incentives like subsidized power lower transport cost and other infrastructure so that industries may be located in backward areas industrialization often leads to development and growth of towns and cities on left side there is figure number 5.3 entitled locational factors for industries in this figure there is a diagram in which a factory is given which is affected by the availability of resources these resources are given in seven different boxes and connected to factory given resources are raw material labor power land capital transport and market industrial system an industrial system consists of inputs processes and outputs the inputs are the raw materials labor and costs of land transport power and other infrastructure the processes include 
a wide range of activities that convert the raw material into finished products. The outputs are the end product and the income earned from it. In case of the textile industry, the inputs may be cotton, human labor, factory and transport cost. The processes include ginning, spinning, weaving, dyeing and printing. The output is the shirt you wear. At the bottom left side, there is a green box which reads activity. Find out the inputs, outputs and processes involved in the manufacture of a leather shoe. Industrial regions Industrial regions emerge when a number of industries locate close to each other and share the benefits of their closeness. Major industrial regions of the world are Eastern North America, Western and Central Europe, Eastern Europe and Eastern Asia. Major industrial regions tend to be located in the temperate areas, near seaports and especially near coal fields. Page number 51 on page, there is a world map given in figure 5.4. In the map, world's industrial belt and industrial region are highlighted. India has several industrial regions like Mumbai Pune cluster, Bangalore Tamil Nadu region, Hooghly region, Ahmedabad Baroda region, Chota Nagpur industrial belt. Vishakhapatnam, Guntur Belt, Gurgaon Delhi, Meerut region, and the Kolam, Tiruvananthapuram Industrial Cluster. Industrial Disaster In industries, accidents or disasters mainly occur due to technical failure or irresponsible handling of hazardous material. One of the worst industrial disasters of all time occurred in Bhopal on 3rd December 1984, around 12.30 am. It was a technological accident in which highly poisonous methyl isocyanate MIC, gas along with hydrogen cyanide and other reaction products leaked out of the pesticide factory of Union Carbide. The official death toll was 3,598 in 1989. Thousands who survived still suffer from one or many ailments like blindness, impaired immune system, gastrointestinal disorders, etc. Page number 52 in another incident on 23rd December 2005, due to gas well blowout in Gao Kuiao, Chongqing, China, 243 people died, 9,000 were injured and 64,000 were evacuated. Many people died because they were unable to run after the explosion. Those who could not escape in time suffered burns to their eyes, skin and lungs from the gas. On the top right side, there is an image of rescue operation in Gao Kuiao. In image, there is a army man who is holding a lady on his back. Risk Reduction Measures Densely populated residential areas should be separated far away from the industrial areas. Number 2. People staying in the vicinity of industries should be aware of the storage of toxins or hazardous substances and their possible effects in case if an accident occurs. Number 3. Fire warning and fighting system should be improved. Number 4. Storage capacity of Toxic substances should be limited.
Number 5. Pollution dispersion qualities in the industries should be improved. Distribution of major industries The world's major industries are the iron and steel industry, the textile industry and the information technology industry. The iron and steel and textile industry are the older industries while information technology is an emerging industry. The countries in which iron and steel industries is located are Germany, USA, China, Japan and Russia. Textile industry is concentrated in India, Hong Kong, South Korea, Japan and Taiwan. The major hubs of information technology industry are the Silicon Valley of Central California and the Bangalore region of India. Iron and Steel Industry Like other industries, iron and steel industry too comprises various inputs, processes and outputs. This is a feeder industry whose products are used as raw material for other industries. The inputs for the industry include raw materials such as iron ore, coal and limestone along with labor, capital, site and other infrastructure. The process of converting iron ore into steel involves many stages. The raw material is put in the blast furnace where it undergoes smelting which is shown in figure 5.6. It is then refined. The output obtained is steel which may be used by other industries as raw material. On left side there is a red box which reads, do you know? Emerging industries are also known as sunrise industries. These include information technology, wellness, hospitality and knowledge. There is another box which reads Glossary Smelting It is the process in which metals are extracted from their ores by heating beyond the melting point. Page number 53 On the top there is figure number 5.5 entitled Manufacturing of Steel. In this figure, there is a diagram given in which it is depicted that the need of raw materials to produce 1 ton of steel are 8 tons of coal, 4 tons of iron ore, 1 tons of limestone. Steel is tough and it can easily be shaped cut or made into wire. Special alloys of steel can be made by adding small amounts of other metals such as aluminium, nickel and copper. Alloys give steel unusual hardness, toughness or ability to resist rust. Steel is often called the backbone of modern industry. Almost everything we use is either made of iron or steel or has been made with tools and machinery of these metals. Ships, trains, trucks and autos are made largely of steel. Even the safety pins and the needles you use are made from steel. Oil wells are drilled with steel machinery. Steel pipelines transport oil. Minerals are mined with steel equipment. Farm machines are mostly steel. Large buildings have steel framework. On the right side, there is a figure given, numbered 5.6. Here it is explained how steel is made from iron ore in a blast furnace. First, we put iron ore, limestone and coke together in a mixture 
which is being heated. Hot air is thrown out using a vent and as an end product of process, we get molten iron on one hand and slag on the other hand. This is the whole process of blast furnace through which we make steel from iron ore. Before 1800 AD, iron and steel industry was located where raw materials, power supply and running water were easily available. Later, the ideal location for the industry was near coal fields and close to canals and railways. After 1950, iron and steel industry began to be located on large areas of flat land near seaports. This is because by this time, steel works had become very large and iron ore had to be imported from overseas, which is shown in figure 5.7. At the bottom right side, there is figure number 5.7. In this figure, the changing location of the iron and steel industry is given. Page number 54 In India, iron and steel industry has developed, taking advantage of raw materials, cheap labour, transport and market. All the important steel producing centres such as Bhilai, Durgapur, Burnpur, Jamshedpur, Raurkela, Bokaro are situated in a region that spreads over four states West Bengal, Jharkhand, Orissa, and Chhattisgarh, Bhadravati and Vijayanagar in Karnataka, Vishakhapatnam in Andhra Pradesh, Salem in Tamil Nadu are other important steel centers utilizing local resources. There is world map given in figure number 5.8. In this map, major iron ore producing areas are highlighted with the help of black dot. Jamshedpur Before 1947, there was only one iron and steel plant in the country, Tata Iron and Steel Company Limited, TISCO. Tisco. It was privately owned. After independence, the government took the initiative and set up several iron and steel plants. Tisco was started in 1907 at Sakchi, near the confluence of the rivers Subarnarekha and Kharkai in Jharkhand. Later on, Sakchi was renamed as Jamshedpur. Geographically, Jamshedpur is the most conveniently situated iron and steel centre in the country. Page number 55 There is figure number 5.9. This figure explains the location of iron and steel industry in Jamshedpur. A map has been given here which depicts the iron surrounding the area in which the Jamshedpur steel industry is located. Various places have been given in the map along with the railway line and the major road. There is key given here to read the map as reference, which highlights how the major roads and the railway line are shown. The different area mentioned in map are Tata Steelworks, Tube Division, Golf Course, Telco, etc. Sakchi was chosen to set up the steel plant for several reasons. This place was only 32 km away from Kalimati Station on the Bengal Nagpur railway line. It was close to the iron ore, coal, and manganese deposits as well as to Kolkata, which provided a large market. Tisco gets coal from Jharia coal fields and iron ore, limestone, dolomite 
and manganese from Odisha and Chhattisgarh. The Kharkai and Subarnarekha rivers ensured sufficient water supply. Government initiatives provided adequate capital for its later development. In Jamshedpur, several other industrial plants were set up after Tesco. They produce chemicals, locomotive parts, agricultural equipment, machinery, tin plate, cable and wire. The development of the iron and steel industry opened the doors to rapid industrial development in India. Almost all sectors of the Indian industry depend heavily on the iron and steel industry for their basic infrastructure. The Indian iron and steel industry consists of large integrated steel plants as well as mini steel mills. It also includes secondary producers, rolling mills and ancillary industries. On the right side, there is a green box which reads, Let's do! With the help of an atlas, identify some iron and steel industries in India and mark their location on an outline map of India. Page number 56 Pittsburgh It is an important steel city of the United States of America. The steel industry at Pittsburgh enjoy locational advantages. Some of the raw material such as coal is available locally while the iron ore comes from the iron mines at Minnesota, about 1500 km from Pittsburgh. Between these mines and Pittsburgh is one of the world's best routes for shipping ore cheaply, the famous Great Lakes Waterway. Trains carry the ore from the Great Lakes to the Pittsburgh area. The Ohio, the Monongahela, and Allegheny rivers provide adequate water supply. Today, very few of the large steel mills are in Pittsburgh itself. They are located in the valleys of the Monongahela and Allegheny rivers above Pittsburgh and along the Ohio River below it. Finished steel is transported to the market by both land and water routes. The Pittsburgh area has many factories other than steel mills. These use steel as their raw material to make many different products such as railroad equipment, heavy machineries and rails. On left side, there is a red box which reads, Do you know? The names of Great Lakes are Superior, Huron, Ontario, Michigan and Erie. Lake Superior is the largest of these five lakes. It lies higher upstream than others. Cotton Textile Industry Weaving cloth from yarn is an ancient art. Cotton, wool, silk, jute, flax have been used for making cloth. The textile industry can be divided on the basis of raw materials used in them. Fibers are the raw material of textile industry. Fibers can be natural or man-made. Natural fibers are obtained from wool, silk, cotton, linen and jute. Man-made fibers include nylon, polyester, acrylic and rayon. The cotton textile industry is one of the oldest industries in the world. Till the Industrial Revolution in the 18th century, cotton cloth was made using hand-spinning techniques, wheels and looms. In 18th century, power looms facilitated the development of cotton textile industry, first in Britain and later in other parts of the world. Today. India, China, Japan and the USA are important producers of cotton textiles.
पेज नंबर फिफ्टी सेवन इंडिया हैज अ ग्लोरियस ट्रेडिशन ऑफ प्रोड्यूसिंग एक्सलेंट क्वालिटी कॉटन टेक्सटाइल्स बिफोर द ब्रिटिश रूल इंडियन हैंड स्पन एंड हैंड वुवन क्लोथ ऑलरेडी हैड अ वाइड मार्केट द मजलन्स ऑफ ढाका चिंस ऑफ मसोलीपटनम कैलिकोज ऑफ कैलिकट एंड गोल्ड रॉट कॉटन ऑफ बरहनपुर सूरत एंड वडोदरा वर नोन वर्ल्ड वाइड फॉर देयर क्वालिटी एंड डिजाइन बट द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ हैंड वुवन कॉटन टेक्सटाइल वॉज एक्सपेंसिव एंड टाइम कंज्यूमिंग हैंस ट्रेडिशनल कॉटन टेक्सटाइल इंडस्ट्री कुड नॉट फेस द कॉम्पिटिशन फ्रॉम द न्यू टेक्सटाइल मिल्स ऑफ द वेस्ट विच प्रोड्यूस्ड चीप एंड गुड क्वालिटी फैब्रिक्स थ्रू मेकनाइज इंडस्ट्रियल यूनिट्स on page there is world map given in figure number 5.10 in this map major cotton textile manufacturing regions are given the first successful mechanized textile mill was established in mumbai in 1854 the warm moist climate a port for importing machinery availability of raw material and skilled labor resulted in rapid expansion of the industry in the region initially this country flourished in the states of maharashtra and gujarat because of favorable humid climate but today humidity can be created artificially and raw cotton is a pure and not weight losing raw material so this industry has spread to other parts of india coimbatore kanpur chennai ahmedabad mumbai kolkata ludhiana puducherry and panipat are some of the other important centers on right side there is a red box which reads do you know the first textile mill in the country was established at fort gloucester near kolkata in 1818 but it closed down after some time page number 58 on top left side there is a do you know box which reads about 1/3 of the indian textile industries total production is exported ahmedabad it is located in gujarat on the banks of the sabarmati river the first mill was established in 1859 it soon became the second largest textile city of india after mumbai ahmedabad was therefore often referred to as the manchester of india favorable locational factors were responsible for the development of the textile industry in ahmedabad Ahmedabad is situated very close to cotton growing area this ensures easy availability of raw material the climate is ideal for spinning and weaving the flat terrain and easy availability of land is suitable for the establishment of the mills the densely populated states of gujarat and maharashtra provide both skilled and semi skilled labor well developed road and railway network permits easy transportation of textiles to different parts of the country thus providing easy access to the market mumbai port nearby facilitates import of machinery and export of cotton textiles but in the recent years ahmedabad textile mills have been having some problems several textile mills have closed down this is primarily due to the emergence of new textile centers in the country as well as non upgradation of machines and technology in the mills of ahmedabad on the left side there is a green box which reads activity collect different types of pieces of cloth from a tailor shop and classify them under cotton 
silk, synthetic and woolen. Find out the raw materials used in their manufacturing. Osaka It is an important textile centre of Japan, also known as the Manchester of Japan. The textile industry developed in Osaka due to several geographical factors. The extensive plain around Osaka ensured that land was easily available for the growth of cotton mills. Warm, humid climate is well suited to spinning and weaving. The river Yodo provides sufficient water for the mills. Labour is easily available. Location of port facilitates import of raw cotton and for exporting textiles. The textile industry at Osaka depends completely upon imported raw materials. Cotton is imported from Egypt, India, China and USA. The finished product is mostly exported and has a good market due to good quality and low price. Though it is one of the important textile cities in the country. Of late, the cotton textile industry of Osaka has been replaced by other industries such as iron and steel, machinery, shipbuilding, automobiles, electrical equipment and cement. At the bottom left side, there is an orange box which reads, Let's do! On an outline map of the world, mark the places which provide raw material to cotton textile industry of Osaka. Page number 59 Exercises Number 1. Answer the given questions. First, what is meant by the term industry? Second, which are the main factors which influence the location of an industry? Third, which industry is often referred to as the backbone of modern industry and why? Fourth, why cotton textile industry rapidly expanded in Mumbai? Number two, tick the correct answer. First, Fort Gloucester is located in A. West Bengal, B. California, C. Gujarat. Second, which one of the given options is a natural fiber? A. Nylon, B. Jute, C. Acrylic. Number three, distinguish between the given points here. First, agro based and mineral based industry. Second, Public Sector and Joint Sector Industry Number 4. Some blank spaces are provided to give two examples of First, Raw Materials Second, End Products Third, Tertiary Activities Fourth, Agro-Based Industries Fifth, Cottage Industries Sixth, Cooperatives Page number 60 Number 5 Activity How to identify a location for establishing an industry Divide your class into groups. Each group is a board of directors faced with the problem of choosing a suitable site for an iron and steel plant of developing dweep. A team of technical experts has submitted a report with notes and a map. The team considered access to iron ore, coal, water and limestone, as well as the main market, sources of labour and port facilities. The team has suggested two sites, X and Y. The board of directors has to take the final decision about where to locate the steel plant. Points to keep in mind are Read the report submitted by the team Study the map to find out the distances of the resources from each side Give each resource 
a weight from 1 to 10 according to its importance. The greater the pull of the factor on the industry, the higher the weight from 1 to 10. Complete the table on the next page. The side with the lowest total should be the most satisfactory side. Remember, each group of directors can decide differently. The map is given, which is submitted by technical team. Various places are mentioned along with the railway line and proposed railway line. There is key given here to read the map as reference, which highlights the coal field, limestone, iron ore, river and forest areas in the map. Page number 61 Report Factors or resources affecting the location of a proposed iron and steel plant on development dweep. Iron ore This is a very large deposit of low-grade iron ore. Long-distance transportation of the ore would be uneconomic. Coal the only coal field contains rich deposits of high-grade coal. Transportation of the coal is by railway, which is relatively cheap. Limestone This is widely available over the island, but the purest deposits are in the Chuna Mountains. Water Both the tributaries of River Neel carry Sufficient water to supply a large iron and steel plant in all seasons. The sea water, because of its high salt content, is unsuitable. Market It is expected that the chief market for the plant's products will be the engineering works in Rajdhanipur. Transport costs for the products, mainly small steel bars and light steel plates, would be relatively low. Labor supply This will have to be recruited mainly from the unskilled workers in the three fishing villages of Hill, Ra and Sing. It is expected the most workers will commute daily from their present homes. Port facilities These are at present minimal. There is a good deep natural harbour at Port Pashchimpur, developed to import metal alloys. There is a table given to fill the distance and weight from two sides, X and Y, suggested by the team. There is six column in this table. Resources are mentioned in the first column and you have to fill the distance from X, distance from Y, weighting 1 to 10, Distance X wait for site X. Distance X wait for site Y column. The resources mentioned in first column are iron ore, coal, limestone, water, chief market, labor supply. In the end, you need to calculate and write the weight of resources. The chapter 5 of total six chapters of the book ends here. Narrator Pragya Jha Producer Vimlesh Chaudhary Presented by CIET NCERT New Delhi, India